Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Jay's Two Cents here on the vlog channel on a pretty rare view that I think you guys aren't used to. It's kind of like looking around the other way. It's like one of those weird attached cameras. I want to make myself really dizzy. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. That was a bad idea. I'm really too old for this shit. Okay, so why am I doing it this way? Well, normally I'd be doing it on the big machine right there, but the big machine is broken. Well, not really broken. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so this is kind of be kind of the theme of today's vlog where, you know, no matter how much you do something or how good you are at something, you can pretty much fuck up. And that's exactly <laughs> what I did. So I got my second 780 Ti and I spent Mm, probably a solid eight hours yesterday redoing the water cooling loop, adding dual pumps and adding a 480 radiator up on the top and all that stuff um, well into the night. And you know, about 12 o'clock at night, I thought to myself, I'm really tired. I should go to bed. And I even took an Instagram photo of my system and I, I even said in the caption, I'm getting tired. This is going to be the last photo. But I didn't go to bed. And I told myself, you're tired, you should go to bed. But did I do it? Did I listen to myself? Well, no. Uh, so about an hour later, I had the SLI up and running. And then I was like, well, my current 780 has a flashed BIOS. And I want to overclock my new 780 just as far and put them in SLI and have like a massively powerful machine. You know, PC Master Race after all. Being the half-asleep retard that I am, or was, or is, and will be, I inadvertently flashed the wrong BIOS to the 780, the brand new one, and bricked it. I bricked it so bad, there was absolutely no recovery. I mean, there was, there's a lot of different methods you could do to try and recover it, and it was completely irrecoverable. And so, then I spent the rest of the night, up until 3 a.m. at least trying to fix it. And then I only got two hours sleep, two and a half hours sleep before I got up. And they even set my alarm in the morning to get up before work and have more time to fix it, try and fix it, and I couldn't do it. And then I contacted EVGA and I said, hey guys, um, so I borked my card. And borked is kind of like a developer thing. I mean, developers will typically say, yeah, something's borked. It's like broken. Basically, it's all it means is a little slang. And uh, I said I was trying to flash it I flashed the wrong BIOS. Actually, I was try what I was trying to do was actually put my stock one, my my current one that I had back to stock. And I had I didn't realize GPU 0 was GPU 1 and GPU 1 is GPU 2. So I was like, "Oh, okay, fine. Flash it to PCI Express, you know, GPU 1 slot." Well, that was the new card, not the old card. And so they're slightly different and the BIOSes do not match even though they have the exact same card manufacturer. In pretty much the same card, they are slightly different. So it broke it. My SLI ran for all of 10 minutes before I broke it. And so I explained that to him, and I fully expected, expected my contact at EVGA, because you know I do do reviews for them now, to be like, well, you know, there's nothing I can really do for you. He kind of walked me through some troubleshooting things, and I had already gone through those steps. I was like, yeah, I did that. Here's what happened. Yeah, I did that. Here was the result. And he basically responded to me with, well, it's toast. And at that moment, I got like sick to my stomach. I was like, this is a $530 graphics card. It was 530 bucks. I just shit 530 bucks because I wasn't paying attention. Fortunately, EVGA knows that the card is recoverable. They can do it. They have the tools to do it. I do not. So they're cross-shipping me. Uh, and this is all today, by the way. They cross-shipped me another 780 and then I'm going to send them back my bad one. And so they just did an RMA swap for it. That's not something they normally do. They made a huge exception for me uh, because they know the card, where it came from, who, what I did, and they can handle it. So God, thank God for that. But it got me thinking. I've been doing this a long time. I've been flashing BIOS a lot. And in fact, I always tell people, unless you have to flash a BIOS like on your motherboard or something, or unless you have dual BIOS, Leave your BIOS alone unless you're having a problem. Now, that's my recommendation for new people. But 
I, I mean, it's proof that no matter how much you do it, how many times you do something, you're going to mess up. And it played with my head all day today. I mean, I was in a bad mood. Not like mean, but just like, just down. Because I was like, you know, I have flashed so many motherboards and so many graphics cards. And I've always taken such precautions that I've never, ever once had a failure. So I got to really deal with failure today. Uh, it's not, And it's not like I've never failed at anything. It's just, it was that thing of like, I fucked up on something so simple because I just didn't check a minor, minor detail could have potentially cost me $530. Technically, if I had to buy a new card, it could have cost me $1,060 in potential mistake. So it was like a real important lesson for me today to be like, you know, there is some humbleness no matter how many, how many computers you build, no matter how much you do something, anything. It doesn't matter if it's computers or games or work or life or school. You're going to be making mistakes and they're just going to keep coming. And they're going to happen sometimes when you completely and utterly are off your, or have your guard down and you're not expecting it. And it's going to hit you big. So I think if there's a moral of today's vlog, it's to expect the failure and pretty much do the best you can to prepare for it. And just know that no matter what you do, you're not perfect. You don't get complacent. Pay attention to what the hell you're doing, please, for the love of God. So that's why I'm not vlogging on that machine. This machine behind me, my test bench, is where I've been doing all my internet browsing and stuff tonight. Played a little bit of Battlefield 4. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, the card should be here tomorrow. It may or may not affect the live stream tomorrow for Tech Talk. I don't know if I can get this machine up and running and ready for the stream in time. I may end up just canceling it, and I would hate to do that. But we're just going to have to see. So... Anyway, guys, Ben J's Two Cents over here on the blog channel just coming at you humble to say in front of the world, Jay fucked up bad. And it can happen to anybody. Hey, guys, I'll see you next time.